we are now at Sukau Rainforest Lodge. And uh, this company was formed in actually 95 um, and is part of the group uh, Borneo Eco Tours, which started in 1991. Eco tourism is so unique because ecotourism is about interpretation of the environment, the wildlife. And ecotourism is about the people, their culture. So when the tourists come, they want to experience not just the wildlife, but also the people. And what better than having the local people themselves do the interpretation. Over the years, we have actually been able to find, a, uh, have a few very good staff that has worked with us from day one and one of them is Jamil who has been a key figure to, 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 to the, through the whole process. To me he is like an influencer, you know when he speaks people listen and he is our link to the community as well. Uh, before I'm working in Sukau Rain Forest Lodge, actually I'm um, doing the uh, fishing. In 1997 my father is passed away already so actually I'm the person to in charge my family. So that's why I'm working here because because of the uh, salary I can uh, support my family. What I'm learning from Mr. Albertio, how to respect people, how to responsibility job, yeah, how to uh, improve myself. The company they have a lot of uh, a lot of program they are given uh, they are given to uh, the staff, especially the rebel people, yeah, to learn. Our staff range from those who are who are not gone to uh, secondary education to people who are graduates. So we have a huge range of staff. Some are very disciplined, some are less disciplined, some are educated, some are not. So we actually have a program. Those who who don't have more than form five education, like primary six education, we actually set a quota of two books a year. The first time I'm joining with this company. Two, uh, only two words, yes and no. Then I still remember when I meet with the guests, they try to ask me something and then I run, run away. Try to keep away myself because I'm afraid. But someone forced me to learn everything here, including my English. Then I learn until I can speak with all my guests. The idea is to get them into this habit. It's the habit building that's important to develop the discipline. So we have to translate that into if they can set away half an hour a day, they can read 10 pages. In less than a month, they should technically, theoretically read a book. In 12 months at a year, they should read 12 books. Mr. Albertio will give us something special, incentive, for every each of our book we read here. So we are here to provide the skill, the knowledge to the community, at least for a few people first. Yeah. And this hopefully become the champions that will take the rest of the people further up the value chain. Why is ecotourism so important in Malaysia? If we want to aspire to become a developed country, one of the ways to me is to make sure that we take care of our natural resources. I suppose if you come to this part of the world, you will certainly notice that we have fantastic biodiversity of wildlife. Um, actually, it's considered one of the 10 mega biodiversity in the world. The river uh, overflows every year without fail and that gives a lot of life to the, to the region and the, the wildlife is attracted to this area. And so this is the only place in Malaysia that has 10 primate, 10 species of primates. Of course, we all know about the orangutan, the proboscis monkey, and we have eight species of hornbill just in this locality. Biodiversity actually includes not just the tree, the forest, but also the wildlife and the people. And we need all the resources we can in Malaysia to make sure that we have a unique product that we can sell to the whole world in terms of tourism experience. Mm -hmm.